Hi, I'm Karen Calabrese and welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make my world famous, get that world famous apple pie. Uh, this is one of the first recipes I ever did when I opened up my very first raw food restaurant 30 some years ago when people weren't really even into raw at the time. But I found that this apple pie, I could get anybody with it because it's basically the same components you would use in a cook apple pie. It's just that I'm not going to use my oven today. I think that's why we got it covered up. We're not using the oven today. So this is a raw apple pie, so simple, so easy to make. And believe me, your friends and family will be fooled to think it's a cooked apple pie. All right, so I've got all the components here. I'm going to kind of run through it very quickly. It is also available in my book, Soak Your Nuts on the Raw Side. We have the cooked side and we have the raw side. So it's available on page 84 and the raw side. But you know what? You don't have to buy the book. You can get it for free. Okay, just watching me here today. So of course, I have soaked my nuts, right? We're going to use soaked nuts, and we're going to use walnuts and um, uh, coconut flakes and um, date uh, syrup. We made our own date butter and pecans and almonds, okay? And that's going to be the crust. So I've already pre-soaked my nuts. I'm going to use a food processor with the S-blade. Very simple. We all have one of these in our kitchen, right? And we're going to just take all the different components. We're going to take our walnuts and we're going to put them all in the food processor and blend it together to get our crust. Okay, I'm going to put in all my nuts with my coconut. And I'm going to throw in my paste. And the recipe will be up at the end when you're busy eating the pie because it's so delicious. I've actually had people Instagram me and email me and Facebook me that they've made the pie and they adore it. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this up very quickly. And if it isn't turning to a paste right away for you, you could throw in a little bit of water just to add a little bit more moisture to it. And that's going to start to become a ball and a paste. And we're going to end up with something that looks like this, all right? So this is our crust, and we're going to use our, I think this is like about a nine inch pie pan, let's get this out of the way. And we're going to just kind of mash it and mush it in. And you just keep going and adding to it. You want it kind of thin. I kind of work from the sides out. And you're going to mash and mush. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do the magic of TV and show you a finished product right here. But it really is very simple to do. I just don't want to, you know, I know you're in your kitchen working with me. And I don't want to leave you in there for such a long time. All right, so we've got our crust all made. And, and if you stick it in the refrigerator, everything will kind of harden up and get nice and stiff for you. So let's put this aside. So now we're going to begin making the filling. All right. I like to use Granny Smith apples, you know, because they're not so, so sweet. And I'm just going to take my uh, organic Granny Smith apples, the green apples, and I'm going to take raisins. And I'm going to mix this into a paste. Okay. So let's mix this, mix this up real quick. Oops. I was told not to talk to you when I'm blending. Anyway, the paste will look like this, okay? And actually, it's kind of a yummy paste. Mmm. That's good by itself, just the raisins and the apples. So, we've blended this in, with the S-Blade once again until we get this yummy paste. And next, we're going to dice red, uh, red apples and raisins. We're going to mix together. And we're going to get this mixture. This is the paste we use. This is the chopped red apples and raisins that we use. Um, I could do this for you, but we're just going to mix these two together. I don't like to take up too much of your time. I just like to give you the idea of what we're doing so you can see. So we're just going to mix that paste with the apples and the raisins, okay?
and quickly we will end up with this already blended together all right so I'm just going to put this aside and finish it later because we're trying to keep these videos down to like five seven minutes and it really shouldn't take more than 25 minutes to make this pie tops anyway so we're going to take our mixture with the raisins and the apples and the apples and the raisins and we're going to spread it into our pie crust smells delicious you could add cinnamon you could add nutmeg uh, whatever spices of the season you're into okay and i'm just going to fold that in let's get this out of the way look at that and I suppose if you wanted to, you could actually pop the whole thing in the oven and make it a cooked apple pie. I don't know why you'd want to, but um, we did a little trip to uh, Glenville. Where did we go? We went to Glenville, uh, West Virginia, and they made one of my pies. And Oh, they made my no-baked peanut butter pie, and they actually baked it. But it was still delicious, so i'm not complaining i'm happy that they tried it and they tried the rest of the recipe so we've got some left over okay and there we've got the really the makings for our apple pie and actually it takes no time whatsoever to do that all right next we're going to make the frosting. frosting that i make to go on top is basically just a sweetener honey or agave and soaked cashews and it'll make a delicious frosting for the top how simple does this Feel, folks. I hope you're all in the kitchen working with me or you're ready to run out and do it right away. Okay, so I'm just going to use honey and cashews. We may need a little purified water with that. And if you make this ahead of time and let it sit in the refrigerator, it'll kind of stiffen up. Okay, let's blend this very quickly. I'm not going to talk again while it's blending. And this is our frosting. Okay, and it's almost, we have this with some of our ice cream that we make we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator also for like a oh I don't know a little hour or two and it'll all firm up together and there we have it voila raw apple pie and I'm telling you it's so easy just a little chopping a little cutting a little blending you could easily make this in tops 20 minutes so let's go to the tables now comes the hard part folks I gotta taste it for you fortunately I know how fabulous this is because I've been making this for about 30 years winning friends all over with my raw apple pie mmm mm. so please remember that if you don't take care of this the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given where are you gonna live